Welcome back again! Today, we are going to use different strategies to solve for the unknown in simple equations involving one operation on whole numbers and fractions. An equation is a state sentence in mathematics that contains an equal sign. The equal sign tells you that the expression on the left is equivalent to the expression on the right. x plus y, 4y minus 6x, 5d minus 8 equals negative 3d, y plus 10, a plus 2 equals 9, 2x plus 2 equals 9, 2x plus 3 equals 10, 3x plus 4. Can you identify which of the mathematical statements mentioned above are equations? So, alin kaya dito yung equations? How about the value of each variable in each equation? Can you solve each one? To answer, so these are the equations and not equations. So, equations are 5d minus 8 equals negative 3d, a plus 2 equals 9, 2x plus 2 equals 9, 2x plus 3 equals 10. So, ito lahat ay equations kasi makikita natin merong equal sign. Not equations? x plus y four y minus six x y plus ten three x plus four so in solving we use property of equality First, addition property of equality. For all real numbers a, b, and c, if a equals b, then a plus c equals b plus c. If the two expressions are equal to each other and you add the same value to both sides of the equation, the equation will remain equal. Example x minus 6 equals 8 x minus 6 equals 8 this equation means that if you begin with some unknown number x and subtract 6 you will end up with 8 you are trying to figure out the value of the variable x using the additional property of equality Add 6 to both sides of the equation to isolate the variable. You choose to add 6 as 6 is being subtracted from the variable. So, x minus 6 equals 8. So, add natin yung 6 sa left at right. So, x minus 6 plus 6 sa left sa right naman. 8 plus 6, then si negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. So, x plus 0 equals 8 plus 6. So, 0 wala siyang value, so remain x na lang equals 14. Then, multiplication property of equality. For all real numbers a, b, and c, if a equals b then a times c equals b times c or a b equals a c if two expressions are equal to each other and you multiply both sides by the same number the resulting expressions will also be equivalent For example, 1 half x equals 8. 
the coefficient of 1 half x is 1 half 1 and 2 since the multiplicative inverse of 1 half is 2 you can multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to get the coefficient of 1 for the variable so dito yung 1 half kasi yung kabaliktaran niya ay 2 so, imumultiply natin yung left ng 2 at yung kabila ng 2. Kasi, kapag imumultiply natin, magiging 2 over 2. So, 2 over 2 or 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So, remain na yung x. Then, multiply 8 times 2 equals 16. So, the answer is x equals 16. That's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.